Hey everybody, and welcome back to Fire Warrior. I am still Nagaroth, and I have uh, two special guests here with me. Uh, Hello, I'm, I'm just Kaboom Dragoon. Dragoon. Oh, they're all very excited. It's, uh, it's Kaboom Dragoon. You can barely wait. Yeah, it's Kab Hello. Hey, it's Kaboom. And, and, I'm deceitful. and Deceitful Penguin. Uh, they are going to be joining me for what I hope to be uh, a, a fairly steady push to go get Kovash as... Apparently the two first missions were a complete wash. Oh, you know those Tau. Too inefficient. The greater good. It's because they've only got four fingers. They can't really multiply. Yeah, high-fiving high is <laughs> not something they can do. Or aiming in particular. As, uh, as this particular little starting area here, even though it looks pretty much like everything we've already seen so far, is actually a very devious trap in that you can't continue on until you shoot that little itty bitty blue dot at the top of that gray building up there. And, uh, yeah, the, your guys aren't too helpful in regards to that for the most part. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a problem with many games where you've got AI uh, comrades that they don't know the difference between aiming and hitting a target. Yeah. Or aiming and shooting, I should say. But I, I will, I will say, like the the AI in this game actually will kill things sporadically. But it seems that there's always just two bad options. Either you have AI full, uh, AI friends that can be helpful but die, or they can be immortal and be useless. Yeah, and I think yeah. in this game they're 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 kind of in the middle. Like our uh, our two firecast buddies here will. They'll be helpful in these very tight areas where it's nigh on impossible for them to miss outside of them ignoring these guys behind us. But uh, you know they're they're scripted to die soon, so you know spoilers there. Oh no, faceless alien! Good night, sweet prince. Yeah, well, uh, Jim and Dave Tow, you will be missed. <laughs> the 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 Kai siblings. I don't know what what are some other. Uh, do we know any more common uh, Tau names? Uh, um, Jorge <laughs> and uh, Julio, Tau, and Jesus. Yeah. It turns yeah. out that um, none of them were actually space communists. They were all space Mexican, and uh, it was all thanks to Tiznich that uh, that came about. Yeah, I've I've heard I've heard Zanich's name like pronounced a couple different ways. Did yeah, so that's um, it's the Zinch, he's Zinch, um, there's was Zinch. Yeah, Zinch. yeah. It's like just the most like I'm no, I I never pronounce it the same way twice yeah. anyway. It's really difficult for some reason. Yeah, so we, well, it is is a changer of ways, so changer of names. Yeah, yeah makes yeah. sense. But yeah, so. It's justified so, by so basically, we went down that particular trench for no other reason than to get our buddies killed, and to be told, "Oh wait, no, you were supposed to blow up this thing uh, a couple feet backwards." So, you know, but but we're still making uh, headway into, I guess, the maximum security Alcatraz prison of uh, this particular planet, which is kind of odd because. Prisons in the Warhammer 40k universe are usually either for making combat servitors or for uh, making uh, uh, Soylent's Viridians, like they call it. <laughs> Gee, I wonder where that came from. Uh, no idea. I don't know either. But yeah, we're uh, we're actually going to get a new weapon here, the sniper rifle. It's easy to aim. Very easy. The the, the the current scope setting right now, that's that's your zoom. That's as far as it will zoom ever. You're, you're saying the weapons in Firewater are useless? I'm, I'm finding that very difficult um, to believe. I'm assuming that this blinking green light on the side of the scope is to indicate um, the safety on the scope. Like maybe I have to turn off the safety to actually have it scope. And these, uh, it might have been hard to see, but the little red boxes um, on the 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 ceiling there were actually security cameras and in this area right now if you had tripped those security cameras um, you would just be instantly be shot by the two highly skilled Imperial Guard in this room who apparently didn't hear the 
the screaming outside or the, the pitter pad of little towel feet. But yeah, yeah. I, was, I was doing a great job with the, the bonding sword there. Uh, yeah, the bonding knife is a ceremonial weapon. I don't know why they're swinging that thing around. Uh, I don't know, but apparently on raised surfaces it just will not hit anything. Uh, clearly the uh, guardsman there seems to be following your lead. But he was flailing at nothing as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, actually the uh, this this little section here can be kind of annoying. Just for some reason, if you if you're just sitting on the turret, the 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 laser shots will not go all the way up to the door. So you'll basically be sitting there firing and firing and firing, and you'll you can't see the laser stop, but it won't actually hit them. So you actually have to kind of snipe one of them to get their attention, because like they'll open the door, but then they'll just they'll just sit there. So you, you, you have to snipe one, and they're like, oh, wait, yeah, we're fighting. And then they'll come running down. So, so the sergeant is going like, Sir, isn't the alien down there? No, guys, take five. Yeah, and then... I can't see him. He doesn't exist. Yeah, they have... <laughs> I, I'm assuming they have no, like, real optometry in the year 40K. It's either you get, like, an eye patch, or you're a space marine, and they, like, put in some kind of, like, super eye. Yeah, those things are still double heretical. Uh, and in the year 40k, they have exceedingly large uh, mugs and uh, exceedingly large pieces of cheese, which I think we'll be seeing there. There it is. I don't know if that's like a decanter for just the sergeant himself, and he's a heavy drinker, or or maybe that's like a jug they have to share between all of them. But yeah, I I think I'm, I, yeah. in the grim darkness of the 41st millennium, there is only gigantic dining tables. Yeah. But I mean, this is, you know, a British IP, so obviously they will be drinking rather heavily. Yeah, yeah I think, um, I wanted to say, like, in the old fluff, there might have been some mention of, like, Space Marines trying to get drunk, but finding out they couldn't. So they... Yeah, yeah since their, their body uh, processes all boys, including alcohol. Yeah, so... So, uh, they're doing Spice Bowl, and they talk about this, and they put in some kind of neurotoxin into the beer, so it kinda reacts like normal alcohol, but it means that if normal people drink it, they die. That's That sounds like the best alcohol ever. But yeah, we're, uh, we're doing kind of an extraneous little objective here, where we have to take down these, uh, these artillery guns that are apparently are shooting at the rest of our towel ships that are in orbit somewhere. I, I don't really understand why they weren't shooting at us in the first place since I assume we landed nearby. But yeah, we uh, got a sample. Um, presumably the dropship would be small enough to get through the missile barrages whereas everything else gets shelled and held by. Maybe. But I mean, I think they're, I think they're supposed to be like a large cruiser in orbit right now. But I assume they were just kind of sending down like orcas and smaller vessels. But yeah, they they could have something kind of in between that uh, they're trying to land. But yeah, we're coming to a rather uh, interesting little balcony area. It's just you know covered with snipers here. And speaking of snipers, the first confirmed ethereal kill was by an abhuman rattling sniper by the name of Magog. Yeah, and uh, well, you're, uh, what exactly is a rattling? So, uh, rattling is like a subhuman, it's basically a halfling. It's just a small, sneaky, thieving bugger that's still human enough that it hasn't been killed. But is, is portion of it's like a, a rat? Is that why it's called, a, like, a rattling? or? No, it's just because they're small, and uh, even when they're still roughly human, uh, the Imperium really hates all mutants. But yeah, actually... Where are the heretic, the mutant, the scientist? Yeah. But that, I mean, that's... I think that's more like if a... Like the... If the Black Templar catches a Psyker, it, it's not going to be a good scene. Because they bas Yeah, they basically hate all magic. Even if it's magic helping them. They're like, no, that's kind of evil. Let's kill it. It's... Uh, 
Yeah, and this uh, this particular sergeant not only enjoys getting shot a couple times in the face, he just will not leave his little hidey hole here, so he deserves to be shot. He wasn't trying hard enough. Luckily, considering his considering that fancy hat has managed to deflect what two, three snipers. Yeah. Uh, I, I think he's probably quite uh, quite justified in being caught. Yeah, I think. But, okay, I'm sorry. But considering how intelligent they are, I think hitting them in the head is the least vulnerable and important part on them. Yeah, I mean, uh, I th well, I might only like hit him once in the head, and I think I might have just been like pinging medals after that on his chest. Like, I think there was like a this boss in Bionic Commando where he was like, "You can't hit me from the front because I have so many medals." You need a key. <laughs> so he just got behind him because for some reason he couldn't turn around. He just started shooting him in the back. But yeah, no. Drat, getting behind me, my one weakness. <laughs> so, na that and bullets. so now we've uh, we've somehow managed to set off the alarms, and I think we're now heading down to further maximum security prison area. I I think it's uh, I think they refer to as like a. Uh, a confessionorium at some point, or just like a, a testing area. Confessorium. That sounds like a torture chamber. Yeah, yeah. We'll be. Uh, I think we'll be seeing that more in uh, in some in some levels coming up. For right now, though, we we mostly have to get to the. Uh, I assume what would be like the recreation yard, coupled with the doorway to more maximum security areas. It's just basically kind of like an open courtyard with some metal doors around the center. And there, there's actually a very important reason here why I'm not picking up the, the more plentiful and easier to aim uh, LAS gun and keeping with the sniper rifle because they kind of do uh, an assholeish thing in that uh, center courtyard area. Like, uh, I, I know we, I know uh, most of the snipers should already be dead, but. Uh, so something happens, which causes that area to be pretty annoying. It, it, I mean, it's even causing the IG guys to have headaches. PDF. P or PDF? Planet of Defense Plan Force. Yeah. I'm sure these guys can't be Imperial Guard. I mean, there's limits. <laughs> yeah. There's just limits. Yeah. I th well, either way, it just seems more like they're being mildly inconvenienced by bullets rather than, you know, ripped to shreds, which is kind of annoying. Yeah. But. So yeah, the the entire point of going up to that very top floor to clear out the snipers and press a button to open these uh, these little gateways down here, just completely pointless because once we actually get down here, they they instantly spawn more snipers that immediately close the door you just opened, and. Well, considering that pretty much every objective that you uh, try to complete has instantly been rendered completely meaningless in the next stage, at least they're being consistent. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, sni sniper rounds especially, like, I think maybe five will kill Case pretty pretty well. And since there's about seven snipers and no real cover here, it's it's a good way to die. But Fortunately, they all seem to be looking in completely the opposite direction. Yeah. But yeah, thankfully this is uh, the end of the stage. I want to thank uh, Deceitful Penguin and Kaboom Jogroon for uh, joining me. Yeah, no problem. It's been nice to stay here. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you next time on more Fire Warrior. Bye bye. Yes. Looking at it now.